Tell me something that other people value that you don't. I'd say it's probably um, being understood. I'm okay with being misunderstood. Oh, wow. I just think it's the reality. I just don't think you will ever be understood by everyone. And so it's okay. Like I don't value being understood anymore. I love that I one. used to. I used to love being I understood. I want to take that as a superpower. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Dima Podcast. It's Neela. And it is Adis. What's up, family? Today, Niels, I want to talk about something very interesting. I was watching a Jay Shetty video. And uh, shout out to Jay Shetty. Shout out to Great Jay Shetty. Speaker. Great yeah. speaker. Tam was always right. Bro, I definitely had my reservations, but he's out here doing his thing. He is. He's and you recently had like this Kim Kardashian interview that I watched. I watched it Pretty too. Pretty fire. You know what and I mean? And Kim is out here doing her thing. Doing her thing. She's a very, very well-polished woman. Yeah. And she shows her growth and yeah. stuff throughout the years. And uh, something I took away from that podcast and um, a few other podcasts that I, I've been I've been watching of his is um, the idea of being understood. And I feel like for the longest time in my life, Niels, like I've wanted to be understood by my peers, my loved ones, even outside strangers, people that, you know, uh, are passer buyers in my life. You know, I don't even know if that's a word. You feel <laughs> me? But um, I've always wanted to be known as the guy that has it all figured out or it be like that perfect story. Oh, my God. Like great family, great guy great uh, career, has everything figured out, went to this great school and then got these degrees and everything, right? And I wanted to be understood in a way where like, it's authentic to myself, but also being perceived as that person who like kind of has their figured out. So how you dealing with being misunderstood lately? Yeah. Because I know you are. Exactly. Yeah. And like for the longest time, being misunderstood by people around me, whether it be peers, whether it be randoms or be, you know, a friend of a friend upset me, bro. I was like, no, you, you don't understand. That's not me. I, I, I'm not that type of person. Or like I can give an example like if I was if I had a friendship and that friendship turned sour and that person goes and says, well, Adis was this, this, this and this. And I don't have any relation to the person that they're saying this to. I probably won't even run into them once a year or even twice a year. But that still affected me and bothered me so much because I'm like, dude, I need to tell this person that that's not me. This person probably has these preconceived notions of me based on their understanding, based on what happened in our relationship, bro. But it's like this human tendency of ours to like want to be understood regardless of the fact, bro. And it can almost hinder us in so many ways. It can hinder your growth in the workplace. It can hinder your ability to create something that you want to create or, or do something outside of the realm of possibility of all your peers and stuff. It's like, you know, when you go all in on something that not a lot of people are doing, it's almost like you're getting like they're looking down upon you. It's almost like this inside joke when you're doing something that you're going against the grain. And for a lot of times when we were creating like, you know, going into the entertainment space, that was a big worry for me. How is this going to be perceived by my peers? Like, I'm not dumb. I know what you're thinking. I'm doing something that not a lot of people do and not a lot of people succeed in. And I'm not an idiot. I understand that. And that hindered my growth because we could have done this years ago done something in this space years ago, but it hindered my ability to, you know what, go all in, all money in and do it. And then as the years went by, I started to care less and less and less of what people thought and just did me. And it made things really, really good in my life. It makes things easier, I think. It, the less you care, the easier things are. I mean, and we do it to ourselves, I think. It's not even people driven. It's a matter of like, I care too much about what people think and you got to find a way to step out of that. And I also think it's a growth thing. I've came to a place where I've been very comfortable saying it's not a me problem. It's a you problem. Like how you react in terms of who I am as a person is your uh, like it's your complete obligation. Like it's literally on you. I can't even tell you how to act or be or feel when it comes to me because I at the end of the day 
I will have my judgment and perspective on other people and I don't expect them to like try to convince me otherwise either. I think that it's just important on getting to a place of like, I'm totally comfortable being misunderstood, which I am in today's like world of where I'm at in life. I'm very comfortable being misunderstood. I'm super confident in like the idea and like understanding of the fact that not everybody is going to have the same thought process as you. Not everybody is going to have the same working style as you like think within the same lens as you see things at the same level as you. And so with that, you have to be open and, um, acceptive of the fact that you will be misunderstood. And it's not that you're necessarily wrong. I think it's just a matter of like, they don't understand because of them, not you. And so getting to a place of understanding, it's not a you thing really helps, you know? And I think that we get so caught up in the how it's going to be perceived versus how I'm going to feel just getting it out, which is so much easier to think about because it's like when it's over, it's over with, you know, you say your piece, you do your part. And then that's all that matters. How it's received is not in your control at the end of the day. So whether they get you or not, the people that want to understand you will find a way to understand you. The people who want to ch- don't understand you will ask questions or the people who really just don't get it. Don't, it doesn't stick with everybody. And if it's your truth, if it's your peace, if it's your place, like it doesn't, you don't have to make them understand, you know, but there are certain things in the workplace, especially when it comes to like process and like actual like formality, you have, there's a set in stone way. And then in those ways you should be understood. But like when I think to your, I think it comes to your personal characteristics and your beliefs and your morale, you are, you need to be fine with the fact that not everybody is going to be aligned to that. And so long as you have peace with that, you're not going to care about how you're understood or not. And that's exactly where I'm at in life. Neil's like, there are people who like to argue for the sake of arguing, right? Because they want to push their opinion to this person. It's not being perceived well. And there's an argument because I need to tell you why I'm right. And you need to tell me why you're right. Now I'm at the point in my life, Neil's, Wallahi, bro, like, I do not care to argue with you. I will state my piece. I'll take ownership for my actions or whatever, but I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to beat a dead horse type, you know? And it's like, when you come to that realization that a lot of people have their own things going on, their own perception of reality, their own, you know, uh, idea of how things should be in the world, That doesn't mean that they're bad people or wrong. That's their idea and perception of whatever's going on. And I'm okay with you having that idea and that perception. And I'm okay with myself having, you know, something, uh, a a difference in opinion, right? And I'm not going to sit there and try to like batter this thing into you that I've just never been the argumentative type from the jump. You know, I've kind of just like been the, the, the guy who kind of detours off of that. But in all honesty, like sometimes you feel so strongly about something that you want to get your point across, but it's almost doing more damage than good. But it's like, again, a form of just trying to get them to understand you. Then go find somebody that that understands you. Then go find somebody that is willing to have tension for the sake of tension and argue for the sake of arguing because those type of people will just continue to throw jobs. In fact, they're more like drawn to the people who don't give them the reaction that they want and want that you understand me, understand me. Like it's like, it's because it's confidence to them. It's a them thing. And it's like, I need you to say I'm right because I'm right. And if you say I'm right, then my ego is right. My, my confidence is at the level it should be. I'm not wrong. And and the right person doesn't think so, you know? So it's to boost their own morale. And it's so sad because actually the, the most successful people that I know, myself included, can care less whether they're understood or not. And I mean this, like, I don't, I, I mean this in the most humble way like the more you grow out of like trying to convince people the more people will just be convinced by you bro because i swear to god the more i've taken a step back the more people are running towards me i swear and it's it's an actual like thing like you know when you like dump a guy and you don't you give him the shoulder he's on your but the second you're like, I want you back. Oh, he don't want you. Like this is the same. That game applies to all aspects of life. The less you show something attention, the more that the universe draws that towards you. And if you give them the little the jabs here and there, and they're like catering towards it, then they're just like it's boosting their their morale, their ego. They need to feed off of that. Those people are the ones that need others' validation in order to live their own security. And that's the type of life that like I pray I never have to live by. I'm so confident in my own security. Thank and like uh, like I have a relationship in my life right now and I love her to death but like there are certain areas where I already know as I've grown older we don't see eye to eye and things that upset this person you know she's one of my closest people in my life they 
they don't the things that upset them don't upset me and I'll, I don't need to understand why I tried so hard for so many years and it just disappointed me because I was like I'm not this person stop painting me to be this person like I that's not what I mean why are you upset and then I stopped caring and everything's fine it's still grass is still green on the other side I just did myself a favor I did myself a favor by detaching and like those problems are those problems and they exist with that person it had nothing to do with me I don't need to understand you and if you're not going to understand me that's fine too it's honestly a form of validation like you said an ego once you tame your ego and you're okay with things that you know essentially aren't going your way to a T right and you're okay with that it shows a level of maturity that not a lot of people are able to it's it's not attainable for some people bro it takes years and years and years of trials and tribulations for people to get to a point where they're just like you know what like i'm not going to let this you know this situation change me and i'm not going to let it affect me and i'm not going to let it affect me in all these other aspects because i'm going to take this moment where i feel misunderstood and i'm crying out for help and then i'm gonna apply that to my next relationship then my at work and then with my other friends and then now it's affected you completely you know and now you're walking in this down this path where it's just like it could potentially you up as a person you know what i mean and once you take a step back and you're just like you know what i'm gonna let you feel this way i'm gonna let you do what you gotta do it's a you thing it's a you thing. It's a you thing. And stop feeling the need to explain yourself to people. Like, if it sits with you better, sure. But, like, for me personally, I've stopped explaining myself. I just do things that I want now, and I enjoy my life, and I protect my peace, and I and I look for peace. And that may mean I don't want specific people in my life. That may mean that I don't want situations in my life. Or, you know, I'm at a place where, thankfully, I'm so content thank God, where, like, the people around me who know and love me, that's all I need. But I also, like, and those are the people I'll die for because I know they'll do vice versa. So I will probably explain myself to those people. But, like, for anybody else outside the world, and you see celebrities do this. Kim, actually, on the Jay Shetty show, it's so nice to see her talk openly now about all her embarrassment, her faults, and her, like, public humiliation because she, you can tell she doesn't care. She's like, no one's going to understand me. And many celebrities included that you see how they just, like, if you spent your whole life worried about trying to be understood from every individual in this world celebrities included who like owe it to the world right like how would you even proceed in life that's not possible like what like it's not you're, it's, you're not capable so you have to find a balance of like protect your peace in terms of giving the ones that are important in your life and re reciprocate that energy that energy versus trying to explain yourself to people who literally don't are listening to respond like, and and it honestly could be like a form of just like ignorance. Like I've heard a lot of outlandish in my life, Niels, about myself that I had no even idea about, right? And I thought about it and I'm like, okay, this is such a big lie. Who the would spread some like this? And I'm just like, oh, like this can affect me and I can go to the million people that they've probably spread this to and be like no, no no this never happened bro this person's lying and stuff but it shows more on that person that spread the false you know whatever whatever to whoever more than it does on me trying to explain is that does that make sense it what makes sense yeah and i think it has to do with awareness also because when you spend a lot of time trying to understand why people aren't understanding you dive into that person as a whole and be aware of how they've been brought up what's their surroundings who are their friends who are their parents what is their religion what is their ethnicity because a lot of that caters into their belief system and why they don't understand you right so you have to also be aware of the person that you're trying that's worth the hill you want to die on it's like they could point. be severely missing guided themselves right. and they're just like boofing and then to your point earlier that projects on you now you're going to take that and project that onto the next person and then the blinds leading the blind and here we are seven generations later just providing context and like in a like unrealistic not correct context to people that is just going to continue that momentum it's just not scalable you need to live your own independent individual life no matter who is around you and do what's best for you and and, and not worry about who the f understands or not dead ass Bro, I swear, the less you care about that, the more your life elevates. It's weird. It is very weird. It's okay to be misunderstood mm -hmm. at the end of Unless the day. Unless you're low wing, because, oh, Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. <laughs> Where can they find us, Neil? <laughs> Listen, little Wayne. YouTube.com slash the Podcast. TDP. We out. We out.